Hello, med students. How are you holding up? As uh, most of you know, I am working as an autopsy surgeon, and I have done my MBBS and then MD in forensic medicine. Uh, many PG aspirants, NEET PG aspirants, they ask me regarding uh, the scope of forensic medicine as PG branch. So today in this video, I will be discussing about the various pros and cons of choosing forensic medicine as PG branch. Okay. Firstly, I will be talking about the cons. Uh, it's not as lucrative as you think as compared to other uh, uh, clinical branches money-wise. You must be thinking that I am lying, but it's true. The, it is not as uh, financially beneficial as compared to other clinical branches because uh, you cannot do private autopsies. The most you can do is start a OPD uh, clinic, uh, but then again, uh, most people, the patients will not come to you because they will think you are a doctor of the dead. And according to public perception, you, know, you just conduct autopsies. You don't have knowledge regarding clinical practices. The second point is that you don't have any patient interaction. So you don't feel like a doctor anymore. If you are okay with that, then it's uh, you can choose this uh, forensic medicine as PG branch. You would have to deal with crime, criminals, dead bodies, police, courts on a daily basis. So it might change and affect the personality of a person permanently. Uh, most people don't think of you as a real doctor. Other doctors may look down on you for choosing this branch because you can get this branch at any NEET PG rank. You just have to qualify the NEET PG. After completing MD Forensic Medicine, you can only join medical colleges as lecturers and professors. There is no other job for autopsy surgeons. Now I will tell you some pros of choosing forensic medicine as PG branch. Firstly, you don't have to deal with sick patient and their relatives, uh, irritating staff at the hospital and also um, ward rounds, emergency calls and uh, all those clinical things, you know, you uh, are free from them. You get plenty of time for yourself and your family. You don't have emergency duties. Once or twice in a blue moon, uh, you may you might get an emergency duty. So yeah, there is a good work-life balance after you choose uh, forensic medicine as PG branch. Obviously, it's an interesting branch. Uh, you have to deal with crime and criminals on a daily basis. So like, yeah, every day is an interesting day. And people with specific interest can choose this branch, can go for this branch. Uh, you develop good connection with the police and politicians on a, because you have to deal with them on a daily basis. And about the job prospective, like you can get a job easily in uh, medical colleges because uh, there are many new medical colleges which are opening. And also um, there is so much scarcity of forensic doctors in those medical colleges, in private medical colleges. So you can get a job after completing MD very easily. And as you know, this forensic medicine is not a terminal branch. Now you can also opt for DM. There are th three new courses which are being uh, currently available. Like uh, the first one is the forensic radiology, where you will do virtual autopsy. Another is forensic toxicology. And third one is the uh, forensic pathology. So I will discuss about them in another video, but you can you have three DM courses in forensic medicine as well. And lastly, you can also start your own medical legal consultancy, but uh, uh, this is not in much demand in smaller cities and also in big cities. It is, it is taking place, but on a very slow rate. So yeah, in future, there can be a scope in medical legal consultancy as well. So in the end, it ultimately depends on the person and what they want with their lives. Uh, for me, the reason I chose this branch was that I was not really interested in seeing patients. I really like my life stress-free. I want to enjoy my life and I need time for myself. That's why I chose this uh, forensic medicine as PG branch. And also a new medical college has opened in 2018 in my hometown. And I joined as a forensic medicine uh, PG as 2020. So I know that I will get a job there because there is so much scarcity. And also as I belong to middle class category male student, so I don't have any option other than to work simultaneously while preparing for NEET PG. So 
I have worked uh, in the department of surgery uh, as a non-contractual JR for one year and uh, after working there I thought it is not my cup of tea, I cannot do clinical branches so I chose forensic medicine as PG branch mm. and uh, I got this uh, MD forensic medicine at the rank of 49,000 and after that I thought that what we are getting now, what we will be able to do later, we will see. Uh, but uh, and here I am telling about you the pros and cons of choosing forensic medicine as PG branch. Thank you.